Vai lá. Have you given him? The total money is uh, 1.3 million. Okay. And I've paid a uh, million and thirty thousand. Eh? Yes, the balance should be around 270. Hold on. You've paid a million and thirty thousand naira. And he's still disturbing you. He's ah. still calling me up till this minute. Ah, that's not fair now. That's not how to do things. Eh? It's not easy to, to, to make money. He should calm down. He should take it easy with you. That's not how to do things. It's not just 270,000 that is remaining. Eh? Chief ah, Ojuku, this is not fair. Okay, how can he be so hard on you like this? <sighs> Baby, don't worry. Hmm? Don't let it bother you. I believe the God I serve will give you the complete money to pay him Amen. so that he will stop disturbing you. Amen. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, let me go inside and prepare your food. Okay. But you have to come in and freshen. Let me eat first now. Ah, ah. Really? No, baby. <laughs> you have to get first. Let me eat first. <laughs> Let me just go and prepare. Easy, easy. Easy. <laughs> easy. Okay. Hello, sir. When are you paying me my 270,000 naira balance? Oh, Chief, please give me a little time, okay? I just paid 400,000 today. Just give me a little time, I will pay you, please. Now, listen very well, Mr. Man. I need my money complete before tomorrow evening. Oh, I'm going to you that side of me. Chief, tomorrow evening is too sudden now. Just give me a few days now. Let me let me run around and get this money, please. I beg you, man. Chief, please. Pico, Pico. Chief. Chief, hello. Hello. How was your gent? I hope all is well. That's all. That time that I lived in my house at your wedding. And uh, this is to be fought. Generally, it's coming to an end. Uh, I can't remember you sending me uh, Yes, yes, Chief. Chief, I um, I went to that man's house and uh, I met them in a very pitiful situation. That gave them two years. I just hope you can reconsider. Consider what? Are you still a lawyer? I don't understand. I can give you my property to manage your pity. Not that, Chief, but you know, in some situations, you have to reconsider. Yeah. Okay, I'm not 
not to do anything. You should not be a money by telling your friends. Send your boys to give them good notice. You do not pay. Else, ask my own boys to go there. Pack all their boots out and up the door and pay my money. Yes. All right, Chief. If there's anything to be considered to be with the other All right, Chief. No problem. I will do just that. Tinko, before I charge you for the key. Worrying yourself. Do you want to kill yourself because you own chief 270,000 naira? Do you want to kill yourself? Instead of it to be sleeping, you're sitting up thinking, for what? Eh? Somebody you own 1.3 million naira and you've tried, you've squeezed yourself and managed to give the person 1 million 30,000 naira. Have you not tried? You will hear it and, and tell you that you've not tried. Eh? Is that why you want to kill yourself? You want me to understand? Chief said I have till tomorrow to pay him the remaining balance of the money. Meaning what? Tomorrow is already here. Where do I get that kind of money? Stop this thing. Stop it. He is giving you from now till tomorrow. Meaning what? Eh? Did he give you money to keep anyway? Did you steal the money? It's not just oh that you owe him and you've paid him even the major part of the money. So why 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 is it troubling you like this? Eh? What kind of problem is this one? Will Chief tell me that he's not owing people? It's not business that you plan to me. Will he tell me he's not owing? Eh? What is 270,000 naira that he will not allow you to rest? I don't like this thing, no. I don't like it. Mary, please go back to sleep. Okay? Don't tell me to go back to sleep. We are sleeping together. If you're not sleeping, I'm not sleeping. You want to you think I can kill yourself because you're owing somebody 270,000 naira? Are people not owing you? Have you killed them? It's okay. Give me a little time, I will pay your money back. I just lost my mother two, two days ago. Please bear with me, sir. Oh, very Madam Jane's son is paid for. <laughs> yes, sir. So, what is my business with your mother's death? I have a collection of my money. They've not told you I don't play with money. Huh? Don't you know that at school, I know there's no understanding. So, also, does my money not understand that anymore? My friend. Go and get your money or you lock that shop and make it. Chief, Chief, please, just give me a little time. Please, please, please sir. Uh, consider my situation. Come on, come and lock that shop. Chief, please, I lock the shop, there will be no money for me to feed. Please, I just lost my mother and there will be no money. Come on, go. I'm not going to be making you. Come on, come on, go. I'm bringing my money. What's my business?
it's not you. <sighs> My dear, I'm not sleeping. I'm just full of thoughts. Um, are you back? Yes, sir. All right. So, how much do we have here? It's like three five. Three five. Yes, sir. Three thousand five. Yes, sir. Only. Yes, sir. Please. Very strong quality seventy five thousand. Sixty eight hundred. We have it. How much? Five hundred thousand. How much is that? This original one. I've seen. I made from Korea. Now it's F A K L. How much is that? I bring eighteen. Bring eighteen. I know I'm a customer here. I'm going to send me for 50,000. I'm a regular customer here. Bro. That is the price. My brother, I, I didn't even buy like that. Emeka's wife. Let me talk to Emeka. Uh, it's not his wife I want to talk to. My husband is sleeping. He's sleeping. His mates are busy working. He's busy sleeping. Is that what he's supposed to be doing? Why is he supposed to be thinking of how to pay my money? What kind of lazy husband do you have? He's tired when his mates are busy working. Chief, please, please. My husband is not a lazy man. He is sleeping. He is very tired. I can't wake him. You don't want to give him the phone? It's okay. Tomorrow morning, you just wait. We will see how I will deal with him. You will not remember to come home and sleep with you. I'm sure you are part of the things causing this tiredness. But that's why you don't want to give him the phone. It's alright. Because it's going you are much more rest. Hello? Bob? This is Chief, not your girlfriend, stupid man. Chief, answering chief, so we should run. Do your worst. Nonsense. What kind of thing is this? Somebody that is going, you cannot rest again. You should make my husband. Can you imagine? Listen, tomorrow morning, first thing, go to that useless boy in the castle. Woman, your husband thinks Chief, my boss, is a joker. By the time I finish with him, we know that Chief is not a joker. Please, he did not steal Chief's money. He's only owing him. He did no, not steal from him. He's nowhere to be found. Mm. Your husband thinks that he can run, right? Let him run. I'll be back. Come, let's go. He's not hiding anywhere. My husband is not hiding. Are you crying? Chief sent some dogs to our house. Yes, they entered our bedroom. They scattered everywhere looking for you. Ooh. Oh my God. My love, please. I don't know if you have any money in your shop so that you can go and give it to him. Eh? For peace to reign. If you don't have any money, you don't hold anything to the money. There's no money. There's no money. You know what will happen? Please. 
please leave your shop immediately because they are coming for you. Yes, I don't want anything to happen to you. Calm down, okay? Stop crying. Stop crying, okay? Calm down. What is it? Okay. Just come back home peacefully, oh? Okay. Take care. Not like he, he stole your money. No, not, nothing like that. What kind of problem is this? Yes, I saw them. I have to hide. Hope you are safe. I'll be safe, honey. So where are you right now? I'm hiding somewhere. All right. Yeah. I'll be with you soon, okay? Baby, please just come back, okay? Come back. Love you. Why are you not eating your food? Hmm? Um, Why? See, I've been thinking. About what? Maybe I should go and meet some of our church members to see if they can help us out. I think you should go and meet them. Do you understand? Some of our faithful brothers, I believe they can help you out. Okay? Okay. So, it's your food. I mean, please eat now. Huh? Please. My name is Abigail. I am Emeka's wife. Chief, please. I have come to beg you on behalf of my husband. <laughs> I want you to give him some time so that he can raise your money to pay you. <laughs> I am also here to beg you to stop your boys from chasing him around. <laughs> because if they continue chasing him around like this, he will not be able to raise your money to pay you. <laughs> that is why I have come to beg you, Chief, please. Wait, 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 Rana. Did your husband give you any money to give me? Um, he has gone to meet some of our church members to see if they can raise money to pay you. Chief, please. It's too late for the gods. So you are trying to make me understand now that your husband did not give you any money to give me. 
come here to say. Chief, I don't have your money here. I only came to, to plead with you, Chief Biko. Please. Hey, madam, please help me talk to your husband. Help me beg your husband. Please, please, please. Will you shut your mouth? I've warned you, don't ever put your mouth in work on Sam's money. I'm sorry, sir. You are supposed to be in the kitchen. Madam, leave my house. You stand up. Ah, security! Go, come back, come back, go out. No problem. I tell your husband to look for my money. Keep to look for you. Go. Just tell your boss to stop chasing me around, please. That is the reason I'm telling you. Chief, no problem, Chief. What kind of nonsense is that? I've been running up. I'll tell you the truth, Brother Emeka. You did business with the wrong man, to be honest. You are not supposed to do business with Chief Ojuku. Chief Ojuku is not a good man. You would have asked questions before going into business with Chief Ojuku. I know. I know. But, but this is not the time to lay blames. You know? this, I'm, I'm in a very tight corner now, a very tight situation. That's why I need your help. Please. To tell you the truth, if it is about money, the money is there. But the truth about this thing is, uh, one of my containers just arrived, and another is coming in soon. So I, I actually need money to clear those things. You know what the business is all about. So um, the money available now, they are going in there. They are going for the clearance and those things. So I really do not have any free money I can give to you now. So in other words, um, I'm amicably saying you came at the wrong time. It's not the best time. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's all right. I I'm going to take my leave now. Ah, no, hold on. My wife is very sorry. Honey! No, just hold on. We'll eat together. At least, we should have lunch together. Today that I'm at home and we have opportunity to, to see you coming to my house. You can't just leave like that. Well, I, I don't really have appetite for food now. Why? Are you fine? I'm okay. okay. Thank you for your time. Hey, please, Brother Emeka, don't forget the fellowship. Please. Of course, I will. Okay, please. Thank you. Take care. Money for transport. Yes. Money for transport is not my problem right now. So I I'll take my leave now. Okay. okay. My regards to your wife. Alright, see you some other time. Stories upon stories upon stories. Hey! Hey! Why now? Huh? You mean none of these people agreed to help you? None of them, not even one person. Hey! Mr. Johnson gave me 500. 500 now? For what? 
for transport. Hey! Hey! And uh, Brother Obunna hmm. offered me food. What kind of insult is this? Man? Did you tell him it's because of food you came there? As a hungry man now. Ah, ah. This is pure wickedness, oh. Eh? Me. No, you don't see, no. What kind of wickedness is this one? Eh? Hey! Not that they don't have the money. They have the money. The money is there. But they will give you a series of reasons why they cannot spare a dime. One couple they will not give you. This is not fair now. Eh? You went to somebody for help and the person is giving you food. You don't want to give me 500 minutes to be transport. 500? Eh? Well, I'm giving you food. Food? Yes. Hmm. God, hope you are watching. Hope you are watching. Eh? Hi! You have to go to our pastor. Yes, you have to go and tell him your problem. Maybe he can talk to them to help us. Who knows? Eh, honey? You have to go to him, eh? Because if you don't tell him now, tomorrow he will say, eh, why didn't you come to me? Eh, why didn't you tell me? You know how they talk now. Eh? So the earlier the better. You go and tell pastor. Explain to him. Maybe he can help. Eh? Baby, are you sure it's a good idea? Of course, of form of man. Is that not where we worship? Eh? That's where we worship. When we have problem, we are supposed to tell our pastor. Yes. This is when he comes in. Yes. To so, see so how he can help us. You are going to the shop, right? Uh, yes, but I will. I want to check Pastor first. Oh. To see if there's anything the church can do to help us. Help us. Ah, nice, please do. Okay. Um, before you go, let's pray. Um, tired of praying. Me? Don't say that. Please, we don't need to invite the wrath of God upon us. Let's pray. Okay? <sighs> Listen. He knows everything we're passing through. He is saying us. He knows our situation. It is only God that can help us out of this. Please, give me your hand. Let's pray. Please. Are you sure he's serious? Of course, honey. Mm. Don't worry. God will do something. I so much believe in this God. The great physician, the I am that I am, the soon coming king. I bless your name this day. As my husband steps out of this house, oh Lord, Holy Spirit, favor him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you, honey. Favor of the Lord, of course. Yes. Yeah. Go oh, well. Is everything all right? I think everything is not all right. Ah. Everything is not all right. Chris, what's the problem, please? Ever since I was dismissed from my working place, life has been very miserable to me. I barely eat twice a day. I'm not clothes. Well, not like feeding is my problem or wearing clothes are my problem. But the problem right now is my rent. My landlord is on my neck. And I don't know. Emeka, I don't have anybody in this town. You're just like your brother to me. Also, my brother in the church. It is appeared to make you prove so much. When I get back my job, I will pay you. But please, I beg you. Do you? Chris, my friend. Chris, this is your story. See, 
I, 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 I don't really know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I'm completely dumbfounded. See, I don't know if I should start telling you my own story. Hey, hey, uh, what stories now? You're a big boy. You have more than the money I want to ask of. It's very small compared to you. Eh? Chris, I know. I know the money you're looking for is nothing. But right now, right now, as I'm talking to you now, if I, you won't understand. You won't understand, Chris. Understand what? Understand what? Remember, you used to come beg me for money when you had nothing doing. One time I came asking of help from you. You're telling me I will not understand. I become highly disappointed. I can't believe you're saying this. Yes, how can you say that? Yes, how can you say that? Please, please, please. Just drop me at the plaza. And it's okay. No problems. This is this, this is not this Just is... drop me now. Eh? Oh. First. <laughs> May God bless and sanctify this food in Jesus' name. You can eat now. Hey, honey. How did the meeting go? Um, I met your pastor, and he said we should uh, come to church on Sunday. He's gonna do something about it. That's good news. Yeah. That's good news. We just have to keep our fingers crossed, of course. I believe Pastor will do something about it. I strongly believe. Yeah, that reminds me. Um, Chris, my friend, came. There's no problem. He said I should borrow him some money to pay his house rent. Right? Hey, what did you tell him? I couldn't tell him anything. How do you mean? What do you want me to tell him? Ha! He has never told me such thing before. I was top tight and I... Tell him what you're passing through. Yes, because he is your friend. He, he might be thinking that you don't want to help him, that you have the money, you want to help him. But I've just told him. He's a shame. Is he not your friend? Can you be hiding this kind of thing from him? When he's not friends, first, I've just, just told him. Yeah? He's your friend. I've opened up to him. There's nothing there. Just eat your food. There's no problem. It's an inborn criminal. Why are you crying? 
Honey, please help me ask her. What is it, Mama? I'm back on the in the shop and go. FT men? From where? They said Chibu Chibu sent them. Chibu Chibu? Hi! We're back to Yes. Hi! They said when you pay him, now you should come up and let's go. How will he pay when he has locked up the shop? How? Chibu Chibu locked my shop. <laughs> Shop locked up for a long time. Ubin, please. I don't want you to go to chief in the morning, please. You know how dead the damn man can be. Eh? Aside locking you up in the police, he might even kill you. That man has a gun. Yes, he will kill you and bury you. Nobody will cough. Nobody will say anything. Please, to avoid temptation, don't go there. Let's wait till Sunday. See, baby, you know I'm I'm considering your situation here. There's no food in the house. There's no money. We don't have anything. I, we will die of hunger. God forbid. I said, God forbid. We will never die of hunger. It is not possible. Not when my God is still alive. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God that sees in the secret and in the open. It is not possible. He will not allow us to die of hunger. My God is alive and I believe He is watching. He will not put us to shame. God will do something about our situation, okay? 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 Um, I, I think I apologize for my actions in your car. Alright. I was only thinking you could help me too. But I never knew you had to have problems at all. I'm sorry. Well, okay, okay. I thought that uh out of them I couldn't do anything. But if you have told me, how could you have given such a thing from me? Even if I don't have money, my ideas count. Yeah, you're right. My, my wife told me that. Uh, Thinking about your wife, where is she? Oh, she went for an emergency room. She's back. Okay. Um, I hope the money raised by the church will do for all the SMPs. Mm, I believe. Though I'm not going to take my But I'm still begging him. And I hope, and I'm still praying as well. I hope you have a change of mind. I don't know. I'm very busy. Can I have some water? Water? Yes. Huh? I'm just in your shop. 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 How's the baby doing? The doctor said the baby is doing well. Wow. <laughs> baby is fine. Um, my friend Chris, 
just left. Oh, there's no problem. Uh, no problem. He said he came to apologize for what happened the other day. Okay, there's no problem. It shows that he's a nice person. Yeah. And we have to forgive him. You understand? Just have to. Uh, so, honey, have you collected the money? The money, no. No? Why? Baby, I'm just feeling lazy about the whole thing. Oh my God. How can you be feeling lazy to collect the money? Money that we've been looking for? You're feeling lazy to go and collect it. Please. Is it not the same people that I went to their various houses privately begging for them to help me? And none of them. They were the same people in church shouting 50,000, 100,000. Come on. Ah, seriously. That is how they behave. They want the world to know them that, yes, they are giving money, they are giving. But they don't know it's not like that. No, no, please. What is important now is that money. You just have to go and collect the money. Please, before they start telling you stories. Eh? Baby, why do we have hypocrites in church? Look at the kind of question you're asking me. Do I know? When we stand up and go and collect this money before they start telling us stories. Eh? Said that my bill is 250. And you know, this is this this is the money I was supposed to give to Chief so that he would open my shop. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Emeka, if I am to suggest, I think you should go and bring back your 
wife and newborn baby home. Yes. Come on, Chris. You don't understand. You don't understand. How do I bring my wife and my newborn baby here? Where will I get the money to feed them? Where? Emeka, the God that provided the money is taking care of them in the hospital. We'll provide another. Just bring them home. Who knows? The newborn baby might bring good luck to you. Just think about it, please. Hey. Mommy? Yes, baby. I just love the way the baby is sleeping. Hmm. So that you can rest. <laughs> you don't even know. Baby that has been sucking my breast since. I'm telling you. Crying, crying, crying. Ha! She better sleep, oh, so I will have my peace. Go sleep. That's one of those things that you have to endure it. <laughs> oh, my do. But my love, eh? Seriously. It's not even that one that is my problem. That's a problem. <laughs> I've been thinking. I've been thinking on how you can raise money so that you can go and give chief now. Eh? So continue your business. See, baby. Can you do me a favor? What? Okay. From now on, just worry about taking care of yourself and Allow me to worry about any other thing else. But you know it's not possible. You are my husband. Whatever affects you affects me too. See, honey. I believe this baby will bring open doors to us. Amen. I believe so too. So please, just take care of yourself and the baby. Don't worry about me. Good day, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Yes, ma. You've given birth. Yes, ma. What did you get? Baby girl. That's wonderful. <laughs> yes. I know that. Yes. How is she doing? We thank God. Did you come with her? It's one of the reasons I came. Ma, is your husband at home? Can I talk to you? Sure. Okay. Ma, please. I want you to help me beg your husband to release my husband's goods so that he can pick up again. There is no food in the house we barely feed. As I speak to you, my husband is at home doing nothing. He is there with my daughter. We are struggling to eat. Please, ma, if only you can do this for me, I will be very happy. And what's my husband? Just that my husband is a very difficult man. But I will talk to him as soon as he comes back. Thank you, Ma. Just use your woman power. Try to convince him. Because he's at home, he's not doing anything. There is no way he can even raise money to, to pay your husband. Please. My daughter is suffering. <sighs> Thank you very much. Thank you. May God bless you. Bring the money. No, no, she, she, she. Did she bring the money? You want to tell me how Genesis made revelation? No, Chief, eh, she came to plead with us. She came to plead. She came to plead with us. 
us. Who is us? And I'm very sure that when she came, you do that. Eh, don't worry. I'm going to talk to my husband when he returns. Okay? Now I've come back. Now go and reach the good side. You see you. You will never mind your business. Always drinking paranormal for another person's energy. What is wrong with you? If that is how I waste money, will I be the chief that they call me to pay? How do I buy all these clothes you wear? Eh? Okay, that reminds me. She you said you wanted money for August between clothes. Yes, clothes. for the less now. Eh, very good. <laughs> Where you collect the money from them, then you buy the clothes. Chief, my husband. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, forgive me, I won't say anything. I've been wondering, eh? my baby will just sad like that. I've been thinking. I don't know where to get money to. Oh my God, thank God. So you went out to the girlfriend. You did not get yeah. money. But they keep telling me stories. None of them gave me anything. Yeah. I just came back and said, Thank God for Chris. Seriously, yeah. if not for anything, at least for my baby's sake, my God will show me blessing. Amen. Amen. Oh, so I know you must be home
I will be back. Close for our baby. Mm, not me, it was Who's Chris. <laughs> wow! Chris! Yes, he's a nice man. Very nice! <laughs> I just need to call you so that you can eat, okay? Let's go and eat. Hey, calm down first. Let me go and thank Chris. I think that's the first time I should. Don't worry, he, he's even here. He's playing with baby. Okay. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Thank you. Look at you. You know how to boil water. <laughs> hey. so you, you know how to boil water too. Ask him more. Me. Uh, hey. Don't mind him. Don't know how to do anything. Mm. <laughs> um. <coughs> that reminds me. I I saw what you bought for the newborn baby. As if you read our mind. That was very, very thoughtful of you. I just want to say thank you. Emeka. Come on, it's nothing. Huh? If I had enough money with me, I would have bought something better. Chris, which one is better things? You really tried. May my God bless you. Come on, guys. This guy should just stop this now. Baba, calm down. Mm. Anytime is nothing. <laughs> Bought so many clothes, pampas, and he's calling it nothing. You don't even know what you've done for us, seriously. It's okay. See, so let me tell you something. Abigail, I'm playing with you. What kind of useless play is this? Eh? What if my husband sees you? Come on, Abigail. Your husband is not around. And so? Is that enough reason? Please, Chris. I don't want to disrespect you. Just leave. Abigail, calm down. I like you. Each time I set my eyes on you, there's this deep feelings I have towards you. Chris! Hey! Do you realize that I'm your friend's wife? I am a married woman. How can you be liking me? What kind of talk is this? Chris! Please, like I said, I don't want to insult you. Just get out of my kitchen. I said leave! You don't want to leave. Chris, you don't want to go. Okay, I understand. Before you walked in, I was cooking. So you have to finish up with the cooking. And then, you wash these dishes for me. Abigail! Okay, come back! Good day, sir. Gentlemen, you're welcome. Sit down. How may I help you? Alright. 
Please, I'm looking for Mr. Chris on Nebu. I checked his house, but his neighbor said I should check on him here. So that's why I'm here. Mm, so, who are you? Okay, I'm from um, Diamond Investments Company. I have a letter for him. So I should give him the letter, right? Exactly, sir. I'll do that. All right. Thank you, sir. You take my letter. No problem. Thank you, sir. Chris. Yeah, um, someone brought this letter for you. Letter? Yes. And um, where is he? The guy just left now. Okay. that you will miss me but you will miss those things I used to buy for you. Oh, please don't put it down. <laughs> well, um, my company will be paying me my compensation fee by next week. Wow. So I think um, I have enough to solve all your problems. In case there is anything you want, you know where to find me. Chris. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy for you. Thank you. It's alright. Um, well, this is what I came to tell you. Okay. Okay, I'll leave you now. There's no problem. <laughs> There's no problem. Just take this for a few. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Thank I'll speak to my husband. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Mind is not even in this game, seriously. I'm playing now. You know, if I want to, you know how I used to play game if I want to play game. My mind is not here. Pause this thing first. Let me let me tell you why I'm here. Uh, mm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about the compensation money your company said they would pay. Have they paid? Oh yes, they have. Oh. Can't you see? Yeah. Lots of changes in my And I was thinking, uh, I don't know if you can borrow me some money. And let me settle on uh, Chief Ojuku so that he will open my shop for me. I will pay you back in one month's time. It will not pass. I don't have any more money. The compensation fee they gave to me, I took some money from it and paid my rent. And the remaining wants to clear my debt out of in all this while. There's nothing remaining now. I'm sorry. Eh? Please, I'm sorry. It's alright, it's alright. I, I hope you understand. I will... Maybe I will look for 
money somewhere else. Now well, let's continue. How about your your wife? She's fine, and you you know you should look for someone to marry now. Uh -huh. I, everybody cannot be like your wife now. You know you're very lucky. But there are a lot of good girls out there. You can still find one. I think it's one. Now. <laughs> Play game! Let me win you and leave here. What is this Mugu they play la? Baba Mac Ball la? Look at this! Kikan! Anybody will enter my 18 yard box. They will come out in leg. I just pray nothing has happened to him. I just pray he's safe. Shout. When did you start drinking? Eh? When did this one start? Why are you behaving like this now? Eh? What's the meaning of this thing? You, you just kept me here worried since. And Emeka, uh, need rest. I, I don't like this thing you're doing. You just kept me here worried. You left I and baby since morning. Without food, without money. Eh? All you did was to go out there and start drinking. Look at you, you're drunk. What's the meaning of this nonsense, eh? When did this one start now? When? Please. Out of I will. You talk too much. That's your problem. Hey. Huh? Emeka doesn't sleep outside. Emeka is back. Where is my bed? Hey. Oh, stupid woman. Stupid woman. This is not my husband. This is not my husband. God, what has happened to him? What is the problem? What has happened to my husband? God, no, 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 no. What is happening? What has happened to him, Eka? What? Hey! I don't understand anymore. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Chris, Chris, please. You need to help my husband. It's getting out of hand. A maker, your friend, has started drinking mm. and keeping late nights. Abigail, he's just so funny. A maker, you know, cannot be a drunk. And I'm telling you, 
The lion to you and I'm his wife. He came back home last night drunk. And when I tried talking to him about it, he pushed me to the couch. Abigail! Abigail! I can't just believe all this thing you're saying. And make her my friend, your husband. Can't even be a drunk nor touch you. I don't understand. He did it. I'm not lying to you. He did it. All this grace. He needs help. He can't feed. There is no food in my house. I believe it's misbehaving because of what we are facing. We are facing hard times. Please, if you know what you will do to help your friend, make her just to do it. Please, I am begging you. Okay, I will help. Thank you very much. I have about 400,000 Naira cash right here in this house. So oh! I can give it to you right now. Chris, if you do this, my God will forever bless you. But on one condition. What condition? Abigail, you have to live with me. Yeah. How can you say a thing like this to me? I am your friend's wife. We attend the same church. Is it because things are tough for us now? Is that why you're saying this kind of thing to me, Chris? Abigail, life itself is a risk. If I'm to be you, I wouldn't want to lose this golden opportunity. If you don't want the money or your husband doesn't want the money, but consider your little child, your beautiful daughter. I think the money will go a long way for her. You know that. And uh, I don't want to stress this. Please, drink up. Let's go inside and get the money. Thank you. Thank you very much. Drink up. Let's. Abigail. It's all right. Um, give me the car keys. I want to sell it. You are not serious. You want to sell what? The only car we are managing in this house, you want to sell it. What for? Honey, how can I be driving while my family dies of hunger? It's not proper now. I understand. Nothing will happen to us. Meanwhile, I have a surprise for you. Really? Yes. Here. 
What's this? Money. Jesus Christ. Honey, where did you get this kind of money? A friend gave me the money. A friend gave you this money? Yes. How much is here? 400,000 naira. 400,000 naira? From a friend? I will not touch this money until you tell me that friend that gave you 400,000 naira. Honey, please, can you just make use of this money and stop, stop asking me questions? We're facing challenges here. We don't have money. We barely feed. And here you are, this is money in front of you. You're asking me where I got it from. I just told you it's a friend. Who else you want me to mention? It's a friend that gave me the money. Use the money to solve our problems. That's all. What friend? What friend? On what basis? On what condition? You will tell me the friend that gave you this money and you're going to tell me now. Okay. It's your friend. What? Your friend Chris gave me the money. <laughs> Chris gave you 400,000. I actually went to Chris myself to borrow money from him. He told me he doesn't have a dime and the compensation money they paid him is finished. Here you are with 400,000 from Chris. I know my friend very well. Chris cannot give you money without asking for something. He only gives when he wants something. So I ask you again, on what condition did you get this money? Did you borrow the money from him? You did not. Then on what condition? Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Did you sleep with him? Did you sleep with Chris? Answer me. Only please, I'm sorry. Answer me! We were passing through a lot and I didn't know what to do. This was just the only way out. I just needed to help out in one way or the other, and this was just it. I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention. I'm sorry. Sweet, this would I'll take the only way out now. It is over. No. That's enough. <laughs> this is the end of the room. It's because we're just my friends. I was wrong, totally wrong. Of course you were wrong. But I did it for the family. We were passing through hell. We were facing difficulty. I didn't do it because I loved it. No, I did it to save my family. Okay, have you saved your family now? My husband started keeping late night. He started drinking. He was losing it, mommy. I didn't know what to do. Was that why you did it? He will forgive me. I, I, I pray he forgives you too. I just pray he forgives you. You need to help me talk to him. You need to help me call him. I think you need a lot of prayers. Call on God to forgive you. Okay. In fact, ask him for forgiveness now okay. so that he will change your husband's mind. Oh my God, my Heavenly Father, please forgive me for what I have done. I'm sorry. I will never do it again. Mommy, it's your turn. Let me alone. Mommy, it's your turn. You have to help me. Mommy, please now. Mommy, you need to go back to my husband. Please, Mommy, please. Mommy, you need to help me. Mommy, I don't know please. who taught you this. Was this the way I brought you up? No, no, no. So why would you do a thing like this? I'm sure you are happy now that you succeeded in sending me out of my husband's house, right? What? And look at things you out from the house. Please stop pretending as if it's not what you wanted. 
Wasn't that what you wanted? You're asking the silly question. Uh, Abigail, can you calm down and sit? Let's talk about this. You're senseless. You're stupid. You're just a hidden god. You stink. You smell. Stare! You're asking to sit. You see, yes, I brought your smelling for hundred thousand naira. That's why I came here. I brought it back to you. This is four hundred thousand naira, Abigail. Don't do what you regret later in future. I don't regret anything. The only thing I regret is knowing you. You egot, we're a demon, we're a devil. Abigail, this four hundred thousand will go along with for you. Please, don't do what you regret. Think it, think about this. Mm, you're right. Of course, it has already gone a long way for me. It has caused lots of damages in my life. It has chased me out of my husband's house. Right now, I am in my father's house. Isn't that what you wanted? You're happy now, right? You are happy, Chris. Enjoy. Just enjoy. <sighs> well, I must pass away this way. I see where is my son? Chief, I went to school to pick him. He wasn't there. I searched everywhere. You couldn't find who? I couldn't find him. Huh. Hey, story for the gods. What time did you get to the school? It was a little bit late because of traffic. See yourself? You can't even obey simple instructions. How many times will I tell you to leave early so that you can pay the traffic? Now you can't find my son. What kind of story is that? So simple instructions you can't. You cannot see me. Chief, 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 you get my son from me. The only son that I have. It's okay. What is okay about it? They will find him. Can you imagine? Simple instructions. Hello? Oh, where are you? Now leave everything that way. Go with your boys. Go to my sons. Or let's see or play ground everywhere. Look for him everywhere. That stupid driver can't even find him in school. My son can be missing. Look for him. <laughs> what kind of nonsense do this? Is? <laughs> Samaritan took him to a nearby hospital where he is currently receiving treatment. Which hospital? Please, please take me there. Who is this driver? Take me I'll out kill of him when I catch him. Chief, it was a hit and run driver. Okay, take us to the hospital. Please, Quick, let's go.
Who? This man? Yes. into this kind of temptation. Why did I allow this kind of thing to happen to me? Why? What will I tell my child when she grows up? What will I tell her? Why is this girl? Why are you doing this to us? Hmm? Have we not prayed? Have we not fasted? Hey. Hey. We've committed this in the hands of God. Do you want to solve it yourself? Mm -hmm. Please, don't kill me before my time. You will sit here and keep thinking until you will be Is that what you want? No, mommy. Then stop now. I don't know my no Have mercy on me now. Biko, it's okay. I want you to kill me before my touch on me, Mugeta. Biko. Neither do I want you to develop BP. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go inside. Oh. You do be sitting here all alone and thinking of what you don't have solutions at all. You don't think life is important. Are you? I do not know how to thank you enough for what you did for my family and I. God used you to save the life of our only son. You have done nothing, my friend. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Amen. Emeka, thank you very much. Thank you. I was amazed. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, man. You tried for us. <laughs> Concerning your goods, please, after I'm going to release all your goods, you can carry everything. And then the money you are owing, please just forget it. And the one owing you now. Hey! Thank you very much. We're family. 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 We're Why are you crying? 
no, but you are crying. I can see your tears. Okay, if it's also. I will eat my shot of any food. No, we have enough food. Are you sure? Yes, Go sir. Go and check it. Like proper. Go and check it. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for the things you got for us. Seriously, I don't know you still have us at heart. Why not? My husband agrees. I want to ask you when are we coming back to the house? Yes, we miss you. Your daughter miss you a lot. Please. I big girl. I don't think I can leave you two again. No. My husband, please. I know I did not behave well. What I did was bad. But I did not do it because I love your friend. It was because we were starving, things were not moving well. You were losing your mind. I just had to do something to, to call you back, to make sure you were fine. That was why I did it. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, please. I, I, I think it is better this way. You have to understand my decision. What you did is a terrible thing. You slept with my best friend. If you love me the way you claim, you shouldn't have. I'm still begging you. If not for anything, for the sake of our child, please forgive me, please. I will never try it again. I beg you in the name of God, please, my husband. I will always take care of our child. I have to take care of her. My love. My love, please. I am begging you. Don't do this to us. Don't abandon us here, please. Please, I'm begging you, please. Happy God. Take care of our daughter, okay? <sighs> tried explaining to him that I did what I did just to save our family because we were already starving to death. That was why he did it, but he refused to understand. It's okay. <laughs> what you did was terrible. I must tell you the truth. I'm your mother. All I want you to do now is to pray to our God, the Almighty Father, to touch his heart. <laughs> Yes, mommy. What you did was bad. <laughs> mommy, please, you have to help me in prayers. Please, you have to help me. I want my husband back, yeah, mommy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll come back. Amen. My husband will come back with the grace of God. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, mommy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Informa. Informa. Okay. Please get me a glass of water. Okay, sir. 
Any problem? Sir, you should have come ahead to cook and wash. Now your wife is on the back. It's two days now, she's not in the back. What happened? Um, sit down, please. See, former, I... I sent my wife back to her father's house. Nice person. She's being her back. Please. See, it's, it's it's a long story, okay? It's a long story. I want to know what you really want to know? <laughs> See, former. My wife did a terrible thing. Very terrible. Do you need Chief Ojuku's number? I am shocked that you're talking like this. Your issue with Emeka, are we supposed to leave it like that? You don't want me to either call him or visit him and discuss as elders. It's okay, you can't get it. No, it's not like that. That man, that man is very difficult though. I don't think he will listen to you. Are you sure it's the best idea? There's no harm in trying. Let's go to his house first. Let me go there. Or at least call him. If he stops me, then I will know that I've tried. Oh? There's no problem. I'll check in my phone if his number is there. Really? Yeah, I'll check. Thanks very much. That one left. attempted killing herself yesterday. If not that I came there on time. Please, can you help me talk to Emeka? I believe he will listen to you, please. Uh, madam, madam, see everything that is happening. It's all my fault. Oh. I take responsibility. Okay? I don't want you to worry yourself. Even if it means me coming down to the village with him, so I can see it's worth it. Yes. Ah, thank you very you much. Thank you, Chief. Okay. Thank you. Madam, please, we are very, very sorry for whatever inconveniences we might have caused you. Please accept our apologies. You are coming here today. We will never be in vain. Amen. 
welcome. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Let me get to the kitchen and prepare this. No, no, please. Don't bother yourself. I'm okay. Ah, Chief, I'm okay. Let me get to the kitchen. Okay, Thank you. Sir, just a few moments. What are you doing here? I already asked the police to release you. Why are you here? You should go. Go. Chief, I came to thank you. If it wasn't intentional. If it wasn't intentional, why then did you run? Chief, I ran because I'm angry more than I was in life. Or better still, not me. I don't have anybody to bring me out in this time. You don't have anybody? What is your name? My name is Ben. Benjamin Ujuku. Ujuku? Yes, sir. Where are you from? I'm from Molaba village. Molaba? Do you know me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm the son of Gabriel. Gabriel Ujuku. My younger brother. Yeah, Gabriel, sir. So, because I didn't give you your father money, you now decided to come and uh, repay me by killing my son because I didn't give you money. I never knew you were the son. I understand you. Hi. So, where is Gabriel? I'm ashamed of myself. I turned my back on my people when they needed me the most. Hi. You know what? You will no longer drive that bus. Yes. You won't do bus driving again. I'm going to give you a job in my company. You'll be working in my company for now. Okay? And. I will give you some money so that you can go to the village and bring my brother to the city so that he can have proper treatment. Thank you very much. God bless you. Jesus. Thank you. Alright, so you can go so that tell them to give you the money. Thanks. Hey, Chief, mm -hmm. I've uh, already decided for her to stay in the village with some other people. I can always do that too. And then what? You want to divorce a wife who has been with you through thick and thin? And marry who? An angel that drops from heaven? Come on, Nemeka. She don't seem to understand. What my wife did is a terrible thing. An unforgivable sin. I know exactly what she did. And I know why she did it. Whatever she did, she did for the good of the family. Listen, whatever has been happening is my own fault. And that's why I'm taking all the responsibility for it. And this responsibility includes righting all the wrong. Listen, I am talking to you not just as a business partner, but as a brother. Tomorrow, you and I are going to go back to the village. You go and pick your wife and your child. And you come back here and live with them as husband and wife. Chief. Yes. I'm not going to say more than that. Live as husband and wife. Let bygones be bygones. I'm not saying anything. Eat your food. I gave you white rice. You said no. You wanted fried rice. I made them to prepare fried rice. Now eat. Please. God doesn't forgive. 
who we are by. Just don't let me. I am deeply hurt and I don't know how to remain in this way. Maybe it's too late. I meant myself and my sadness for this guilt I feel now. Please, if you can find it in your heart, no, it's not going to be easy. I feel your pains, I feel everything. If you can find it deep in your heart to forgive me and accept us back, I will forever appreciate you. See, I never meant to hurt you, okay? All this is a I'm not happy about it, you know. I it's just that I was jealous out of jealousy and I lost it. Right now, just one thing. I just want you to know that I love you. And I love you too. God bless you. My God will forever bless you, my husband. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. 